Put your hand inside me and say nothing more of it. <laughs> dun dun. <laughs> Pedophile puppet. <laughs> It's free lunch time. Well, free lunch Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. And I'm Friday. Smoke that cookie cream code. Cookie cookie cream. <laughs> I didn't get the cookies and cream part of it. I'll be real. Oh, really? Yes. It, it still tasted like wheat. Uh, it's a bit nutty. But, you know, I'm Shut all... up. <laughs> no, <laughs> fuck you. It's got like a nice little nutty cookie thing Dude, going stop on. stop doing the wine thing with it. Weed nah. tastes like weed. Nah, no, 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 no. Everything is a wine thing if you're willing to be that much of a prick. How do you know weed's nutty? What kind, what you can smell it when you open the bag and you Bro, can... this is what I think. You're nutty. Okay, uh, sorry. i got to lead on another nerdy note here. Yeah, go. i got to tell you something I found out about uh, this gladiator. Uh-huh. All right, so during the time of Emperor Hadrian, mm-hmm. which is after Jesus, mm-hmm. but before iPhones, right? All oh, right, okay, so somewhere in the middle there. Somewhere in the middle there. All right, yeah, man. Right, okay. There was this gladiator, right, called Flamma, or in Latin, the flame. Dude, that's fucking sick. Holy shit. So, the flame... Give me a second. Holy (laughs) fuck. God damn, that's so fucking cool. Yeah, dude, it's it's, it's about to get a lot cooler. The flame. The flame. All right, so he was the Syrian big unit, right? Uh Uh-huh. And no one knows his real name. They think he was either part of the Syrian at the time. I can't remember the name of what. It was in the Roman Empire, but what is modern-day Syria? Uh He was like a resistance fighter that got sold into slavery. Mm. Anyway, every single gladiatorial image you see Mm. with like the big shield and half the body armor and that weird helmet with the cheese grater over the face. Yep. Yeah, that's based off Flammer. Wow. Okay. That's how famous this cunt was at the time that every image of gladiators was based after him, after him. So it was like, oh, because he was a secutor, which is a type of gladiator that fights with a sword and a shield and only armor on the one side of the body that doesn't have the shield. Oh. This guy went undefeated for, I think, uh, it, f- 30 years. And here's the best bit. He got offered his freedom f- on four different occasions and he said no every single time. Holy fuck. Yeah, because this guy was just, he just fucking loved killing people. And he, he was, was so really good at it. it. That they were like, we'll give you freedom right now. And he just didn't even think. He was like, nah. <laughs> nah, dude. Nah, you did this last know. year. <laughs> Go away. Holy fuck. Yeah, I know. So this guy was just like the guy. He was the gladiator. He was the full on MVP, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. Fucking Conor McGregor of his time, but better than Conor McGregor. Husband to a trans woman. <laughs> Father to an insult. <laughs> and I will get my vengeance in this simulation or the next. <laughs> Dude, imagine. Bro. <laughs> imagine if we just, at one point in the next 20 years, were like, man, MMA has really taken off. I think it's time we start adding back in, like, knives yeah yeah and then we just slowly all fall back into being like the romans because incest is coming back in a big way it's true <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> undeniable it's, it's, it's weirdly it's, undeniable it's in the culture what if by 2060 the way you win your freedom from the carbon monoxide wastelands <laughs> is just you've, you've got to fight with a couple of swords i think that's where it's going to eventually go to because there's going to be an emp that takes out yeah. All of electricity and like just modern technology. So we're just going to, entertainment is going to immediately go back to fighting. Yeah, well. Fighting in the streets. But and then it'll just develop. Yeah, but there'll be still be one dude who's like, no, 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 guys, I do this, we can still do this. And he's flipping a water bottle. <laughs> and I'm like, get the fuck out of here, kill Trevor. Him, kill him Actually, now. Trevor's fighting next. <laughs> Where'd you get water? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's your own pee? Kill, oh, him. Oh, kill, him kill him. Kill him now. Kill him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck this kid. That's where it will go eventually. Because, yeah, the EMP takes us all out. And then uh, do you uh, do you immediately brand yourself as a fighter? No. Do I do, do the lateral move. I go with Hunter. Oh, I go okay. Hunter because immediately, you know, it's a little bit more sensitive than fighter. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And that's good for, like, breeding reasons. Oh, yeah. Yep. I have a bow. I know how to shoot it. You have a bow? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. And so I'm like, no, I'm a hunter. But here's the deal. Uh-huh. Bam, a bunch of little knives and shivs on me. Hey, all right. Because I still need them to take down whatever I've shot. Yeah, so you can get away with it. Yeah. So I think early Aragorn. Interesting. You know I mean? Put down. 
Because I can't hunt, so I would have to immediately be like, I'll ha- I have to fight. Yeah. <laughs> I can't fight either. I'll get fucking... Yeah, they'll be like, uh, I think actually you're you're looking for the gatherers. Yeah. They're over Dude, there with the berries. If, if I honestly... You just described my dream. Fair, but also, like, I feel you would still need to win respect because otherwise I'd have no respect for you. I just get mad berries. So you get mad berries. Or saying. I'll get real good at figuring out berries. You make the best pie. Dude. No one makes a berry pie like Milinkovic. But we, how do you make pie? I guess it would have to be, like, around like a fire. <laughs> yeah, you found another problem. Yeah. Damn. How do you make a pie? Now I have to fucking figure out how to build a fire as well. And that means I have to ask one of the dudes that would have killed me, be like, man, can you build a fire can for me? Can you make me? me a fire? And then he goes, why? And then I have to say, because I really want to make a nice pie. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to get me killed. I'm fucked either way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Might not get you killed, but, it, you know, that's definitely a raping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's definitely, that's, you're not getting out of that scot-free. You know what I mean? Yeah, there will be. I mean, ob- obviously, fucking read the fine print in these situations. <laughs> Yeah, carved onto the bone of a lesser. <laughs> Just <laughs> the last guy that tried to make a berry pie. The terms and conditions are oh, Trug the Conqueror. Conditions is spelt C O N D I S H U N S. I don't think this is a binding contract. <laughs> and he takes it off you and hits you over the head with it. Do you... Tell me more about this gladiator. People used to dress up as him to like in costume, like a football jersey. No, like they would show up to the show. Yeah, he got supporters. <laughs> Yeah, they'd show up to the, the, the show. show. And they'd sit in the fucking stands with like yeah. their half armor and shit and be like... Yeah, yeah, like fake armor. And then they would they would play him as characters in little like um, uh, sort of sideshow plays out front of the Coliseum. Wow. But they would do that for a lot of gladiators. Mm. But then also, I know you just said show, but like there would be a, a gladiatorial matinee. Oh, right. It would happen at like 1 p.m. Yeah, they'd be like, come at 1 p.m. We've got a Down Bring syndrome guy and a lion. Is This is a this is a, a, a relaxed performance of it. <laughs> Bring your autistic kids. <laughs> <laughs> Special needs. We have an Auslan interpreter. <laughs> <laughs> audio described just <laughs> dude <laughs> that's fucking it because, yeah because you would you would because it is entertainment yeah so it would be there would be a matinee and they would be a fucking have dinner beforehand and then come watch this yeah yeah it'd be, it's pretty cool you know my dad told me that Serbians descended from Romans oh really that's probably not too inaccurate yeah yeah, because at that time, all the Gallic and Germanic tribes, which is where Serbia is, uh-huh. they all got conquered by Rome. So then all the blood started mixing. Oh, interesting. I always thought he was talking shit. Like, cause he, like the thing about ethnic dads is like, they'll tell you like just straight up lies about the, about like the culture just to make it sound sick. Yeah. Because like, I, oh no, it wasn't Romans. I was watching 300. <laughs> oh, okay. I remember I was watching 300 and he pointed and he's like, Spartans, huh? And I was like, yeah, 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 Spartans. And he was like, Serbs came from Spartans. <laughs> and, I, and because it was my dad, at the time, I knew that he was just trying to impress me, right? I knew that I was like, this probably isn't true. But it, I could tell that he just wanted to like big up, be like, yeah, yeah. part of a pretty cool culture. You know what you think about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just like, what? No way. And he was like, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> like that was, that's such a fucking ethnic dad thing to do which is just flat out lies and then sending you articles being like oh you think you're smarter how about this this about the vaccine and then it's like <laughs> and then it's like vaccine is a lie dot are you yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like huh yeah yeah how about next time you think you're smart at the dinner table have a read of this huh that's a lot of it you don't think we're smart you know where maths was invented okay yeah. ottoman empire yeah Serbs from the Ottoman Empire, yeah. okay? Guess who made the wheel? I did. Just now. Me. I put four of them in the car. Now. <laughs> Stupid. Like, it, yeah. would be, <laughs> Stupid. it would always be with the tone of like, you're dumb. You know what I mean? That you didn't even think that maybe Serbs were Spartans. Yeah. Because I can't, that's the thing. It's like, that's a, a birthright is getting to an age where you just get to be like, like, I'm just going to fucking say things. Oh, yeah. And it's just going to be accepted. Everyone's going to be like, oh. 
It's, I reckon it's going to be freeing. Dude, it's so free. I'm like, of course, you just get to say whatever you want. Yeah. Knowing it's bullshit. Yeah. Do you reckon, uh, do you know what I look forward to? Uh, being 85 in a retirement village somewhere that's not underwater. Mm. And just getting like one of the introduction question is, hey, what's your name? <laughs> so I'll be like, uh, I'm, 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 I'm Lisa. Eh? Mm. Did you start as Lisa? <laughs> Well, actually, uh, my dead name uh-huh. is Sean. Now, at least it's fine. I was just asking. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fine. I started walking. Now I'm in this. <laughs> <laughs> we all came from somewhere. 100%. I'm going to be in the living room with my son when he's watching like a Japanese like feudal movie. And I'll be like, ninjas, huh? <laughs> Serbs, <laughs> they came from ninjas. <laughs> oh, dude, my stepdad already does it. He got caught out in it once. Oh yeah, because Brian has so many stories, and to be fair, has had like heaps of different jobs, right. crazy jobs, normal jobs. He's just had so many different professions, and he fucking knows that. Uh-huh. And so a little while ago, because he's always like, "Let me tell you a story," mm. and it, this story has like a lesson, mm. and it sounds hack, but. They're very good stories. I, I kind of like that. Yeah, it's really nice. That's like a very fatherly, cool fucking... Yes. Like, here's a story, but there's a point to it. And you get uh-huh. to... It, that's one of those things that later on in the future, you get to look back at and be like, you know, my dad once told me. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? And it never stops. The cool thing about that is that... I, I've seen this, and I'm like, this is kind of true, which is like, if you want to like appear worldly and wise... Just start whatever point you're about to make with my father once told me. You my can- father once told me. Yeah. I have a dream. The men be judged not on the color or creed, but by the content of their skin. And that really yeah. made me think that yeah. Yeah. my dad was full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm raising my son. We're in the dust bowl wars. <laughs> you judge people by who they run with, kid. Yeah. My father once told me, if a dude pisses in the water bottle... And starts throwing it around <laughs> in the Dust Bowl Apocalypse Wars. Kill him immediately. My father told me that. I don't know. And everyone goes... <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be my thing. I'd like to be the only guy that still speaks English in the Dust Bowl Apocalypse. <laughs> You're the one... So- I'm like the HR. Like, <laughs> does what, like guys, come on. <laughs> they can all understand you. They get me. But they can't speak it. They can't speak English. I can understand their little grumblings. Yeah. But I'm the guy that's just the most articulate. Do you know what's a crazy language? Exactly on that topic is pigeon. Pigeon. Like, good, good. No, no, and no, it's a, no, it's a different word. It's crazy, but it's so perfect. Oh, okay. Pigeon English or pigeon Afrikaans or pigeon Belgium. Uh-huh. It's like a uh, really aggressively literal, um, basic, really rudimentary English that uh, groups of people use to communicate with each other who speak different languages. Oh. So it's really big in Africa. Oh, interesting. So it's the whole, it's in like um, Blood Diamond. I've never seen it, but yeah, I get it. Whereas like you come from Sky Clop Clop. Was it, which is like helicopter. Oh, clop, clop. And they're like, yeah, they're like, y- you mad at Dustfoot who, you know, like this dude without shoes on. Sure, so right. you mad at Dustfoot for bye-bye. Like, right, so left. it's just noises that we all understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'd right. be able to piece it together if you never spoke it before. Right. But if you were like, oh, no, see, I came in the helicopter just, and to like, purchase I'm this man some <laughs> shoes. <laughs> I'm, here, I'm here with this guy and he's speaking that to me. I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh-huh. All right. And I come back to you. It's like, he just told me to go fuck myself. <laughs> this guy was really, really like, rude. I'd be mean, like, all right, yeah. <laughs> like giving him so much attention while he's going, clop, clop, boom, boom. <laughs> aka, aka. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. I think I get it. I think I get it. All right. Yeah, yeah. He just called us a pack of cunts. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're fucking done here. This club sucks. <laughs> There's no girls here anyway. There's Fuck this no place. girls. This isn't how you. This isn't how you pull the moves, dude. I can't believe that's an actual language. That's amazing. That is super handy. Oh yeah. There's pretty. It's pretty absolutely bonkers. Well, it's like noises are the only thing that like communicate real fucking anyway, because in- how many times have you spoken to someone that also speaks English and you're like, you and I don't speak the same language. Yes. 
Oh, that happens. That That's interesting because that does happen a lot. Happens a fair amount, right? Yeah. Where it's like there's just this like we speak the exact same language, but there is a clear divide. Yeah. But it's so much if I just went like, give me the, you know, the fucking that, the thingy. Yeah. That will most likely go like, oh yeah, I kind of fucking know what you're talking about. Well, you know, you know, you know what this is like. That after you spend enough time with someone, like in a relationship, you mm. can just be like, hey, you, uh, and like, I got you. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, uh, you go clop clop, <laughs> clop clop, boom boom, batty boy. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, all right, fine, I'll suck your dick. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, but that's it. You could go up to someone and be like, hey, clop, clop, boom, boom, motherfucker. Yeah, and and like, what did you just say to I me? I think I know what he just said. <laughs> I think I know what he said. <laughs> when clop, clop, boom, boom. <laughs> this piece of shit starting something. Dude, fuck this guy. I just walk into a bar and just adopting it. Yeah. Me one wet mouth. <laughs> uh, that's what I was like. You would be like, yeah, I got you. All right, okay. This Help. guy wants a vodka Red Bull. This guy... <laughs> Yeah, this guy needs uh, this guy needs help in the form of a tall, frosty beer. Dude, can I give you an impression? Yeah, Ben Shapiro ASMR. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll come back to the Daily Wire sleephead while you're sleeping. I, I think they think it's important that you remember something very important about capital, <laughs> and that is. Right now, me and plenty of the other content creators uh, varying backgrounds uh, are monetizing your ability to get a natural REM sleep. Communism wouldn't allow that. It, it wouldn't allow that at all. And um, as, you, as, you, as you fade off tonight, I just want you to think about um, how socialism is actually the devil. It's actually the devil. And um, <laughs> also, um, just reminding you that when you wake up, please remember that at, at no point do uh, uh, vagina, vag vaginas, vaginas, uh, vaginas get wet. They don't get wet at all. Very dry all, all, all the time. There's, I can promise you there's nothing wrong with my performance. It just, they, 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 they don't get wet. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, good night to you and uh, good night to socialism. Uh, there's no place here for it in America because I want to live in America that has Chick-fil-A open <laughs> seven days a week. And with socialism, you never get Chick-fil-A. <laughs> That's I know, a word a from our sponsors. <laughs> Maybe Fridays should be like a full-on aggressive impressions night no no no, no. like no we go full hard right wing <laughs> <laughs> every friday it's just like we, it's just the yeah. game podcast do you know what you got to do when you go out and you want to get some pussy <laughs> alex you know what you got to do when you want to go out and get what some do you have pussy to do, bro? see the girl that you want because know that you don't want her you just want that pussy and then you go out and you look at her but you don't look at her you look at her with one eye and you give her that forest whitaker face You're just oh like, nice yes scowl at her <laughs> And eventually, you look her right in the eye and you go, it's the Black Panther. <laughs> Dude, no one talks about the sexual effects of giving a fucking a chick the straight up Forrest Whitaker eye. You give her one of the fucking these, dude? <laughs> She's yours. <laughs> She's going to be calling you the last King of Scotland, baby. Because <laughs> hey. there ain't ever going to be another man after you. Dude, just fucking... <laughs> Raise that out, bro. Squeeze that other eye. What movies has Forrest Whitaker been in? Last King of Scotland. He was in Star Wars. Southpaw, bro. Have you seen Southpaw? No, I haven't. But that's the boxing movie, right? The boxing movie with Jake Gyllenhaal. That is the all-time greatest boxing film. It fucking tugs your heartstrings as well. Yeah. Forrest Whitaker's in it, and he plays this, uh, like, a, a, like washed-up old boxing coach. Yeah. That's like... I don't do it anymore. <laughs> like that, that the entire time. And Jake's like, come on, I need it. I need someone to help. You're the only guy that can help. He's like, all right, you're going to do it, but you're going to do it under my rules. And he's like, no swearing in the gym. Really? That's one of the rules? That's one of the rules. He's like, no swearing. Oh. And it's like a, it's a whole thing because he's a, he used to be a mad boxing coach and now he just boxes troubled youth. Yeah. Like trains troubled youth. Oh yeah, cool. I thought you meant he, he beats no, up no, he troubled youth. Like, <laughs> Forrest Whitaker coming down the to the streets, orphanage looking for troubled youth. And he goes, hey, put these on. <laughs> How old are you, 12? Uh, I'm, right. You're about to go back to zero. <laughs> goof, goof, goof. goof. <laughs> and then that's the rest of the movie. <laughs> it's, it's just 80 beating. more minutes of one shot of him walking down several streets, being like, hey, don't you run from me. <laughs> 
here's the slow motion happy scene, right? Yeah. He sees one child, and it's Halloween, mm. right? Mm-hmm. It's Halloween. Mm-hmm. One child's in a costume, but the costume's clearly not very well made. Mm. It's clearly not well made. Mm-hmm. Clearly from a slightly poorer background. Sure. And these four kids come up, and they've got great costumes. Oh. And they go, nice costume loser. How much money does your mum make? Huh? Bet there's not a lot of money in that fucking five dollar dick sucking stand on the corner of Fifth and Seventh, is there? <laughs> like they just go hard at this kid, Did and this kid's like, sort of like, stop it, and they're like, no, we're not gonna stop it, right? Yeah. The mum sucked my dick for five dollars. Oh my god, that's so mean. <laughs> yeah, really mean. They're going hard, right? And wh- one of the kids is like. Yo, whoa, whoa, he's up, he's all right. But then the other four, they start, they really start going on. It's like, Shit. did you, you know what's crazy? Not only did she suck dick for $5, but you know what? She was so much better at it that she ran your father out of business. Oh and they're like, fuck. whoa. This is so much. And so now your dad has to suck dicks for $3. This is a scene in the movie. Yeah, yeah, this is a scene in the movie. It's gone for so long. <laughs> they're being bullied. And then all of a sudden, they like bullying him, start pushing him. And then they look across the road. It's, it's nighttime, by the way. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's just this Forrest Whitaker standing there in a hoodie, mm-hmm. giving him the Forrest Whitaker first thing. Goes, What's that guy staring at? Yeah. I don't know. What is that guy staring at? I guess staring at. And then he starts walking across the road mm. and traffic's still going. Like, cars are haunt, stopping. Shit. Haunt. And he's like, ducking and weaving. Yeah, they're like, let's get out of here. Oh no, he's warming up. They run. <laughs> they run. But as he passes, the kid that's getting bullied, he puts a hand on his shoulder and he goes, hey. Your mom actually does a really good job at sucking dicks. <laughs> and then he starts fucking booking it after these kids. Dude. Pushes I'm... them into a corner <laughs> and like murders them. <laughs> like just beats them all to death. And, right. and like, it, like the, the punishment way outweighed the crime. My point is what you're South Port 2, the re whittakering South Porto, this time he's coming for your kids. <laughs> this time it's children. <laughs> this time it's children. <laughs> Turn into a superhero, a superhero that only beats up children. <laughs> Play by Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> it's be Forrest Whitaker. Dude, what else has he been? Forrest Whitaker or Jack Gyllenhaal? Forrest Whitaker. That motherfucker is an old actor from way back in the day as well. Mm. And Black Panther, Arrival. Forgot about Arrival. Oh, that's the one with Amy Adams, and that's the alien one. I never that's saw right. that. Dude, it sucked. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. Have you seen District 9? No. Oh, dude. Yeah, good. District 9 is a fucking masterpiece. Mm. I love it so much. It's about an alien refugee camp in South Africa. Okay. And it's about them trying to adjust to the world and the world's... Ab- Do you think they know the universal language? With the, they're like, clop, clop. <laughs> like, yeah, they know clop, clop, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah they're like... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> clop, clop, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> They've only learned go fuck yourself. Yeah. Do you want me to ruin it for you? Yeah. One of the dudes gets bitten by one and you turn into it if you get bitten. Ooh. And so he kind of becomes their half savior. It's really, it's so upsetting to look at. It's really jarring. So he can speak alien and English. And he's like, no. Nah. Yeah, but it's like taking him <laughs> over over the course of like three weeks. He's like, we're pretty good. We're oh, <laughs> <laughs> pretty good, cool. <laughs> Leave us alone. <laughs> hey, fuck it. We deserve rights. Come on. <laughs> now that I'm <I'll> here, <laughs> can we? This isn't so bad. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I should let him bite you. This is actually kind of fucking sick. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Oh, God, kill me. It's, this is actually not too bad. Oh, Jesus, fuck. What do you think we're going to do? Because we've already... It's so weird how we've just glanced past uh, the fact that we've proven UFOs and the mm. guy that proved UFOs is Tom DeLonge. <laughs> Wait, not him personally, but like he was the one... Mm-hmm. That was like, no, I'm starting a foundation to lobby the government. And it fucking worked. Yeah. Dude. That's the timeline we're living in. Is the dude from Blink-182 made the government release everything they have on UFOs. Is that true? Was it actually him? Yeah. That's incredible if that's true. I didn't know that was the case. It's it, he. I thought, because he just wanted the Joe Rogan experience. It was like, I have footage of them, man. And then Joe was like, do you have that on you? He's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> He's like, not really. No, yeah, he's like, uh, no, I've seen it, but I don't have yeah. it. That's when I was like, I've You're seen shit, it, dude. but I don't, don't have, have it. it. And then, but then, then all the pressure that came from that, the government were like, yeah, fuck it. And we were like, okay. Oh, wow, that's a big deal. 
and we just Dude, glazed over it. That must be how fucking damning the Epstein list is. That they were like, <gasps> that they they were like, how about aliens? And you know what? None of us, none of us actually even were like, that's not what we're talking about right now. Who do you think is on the Epstein list for real? You know what a sleeper one is for me? Mm-hmm. I reckon the guy that puppeteered Elmo. Whoa. Because that guy got done on charges. He did? Oh, yeah. The original guy got done for like four counts of sexual assault on a minor. He, he's in prison. But is he really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Elmo's figured out how to do it himself? <laughs> <What> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy? The guy that took over would have taken over in about 2012, I think. Uh-huh. The guy that's taken over. What if he's like, it's not... The yeah, yeah. puppeteer, it's the puppet. puppet. Yeah, dude, like Annabelle. Like, oh, fuck. Elmo makes you a pedophile? Yeah. <laughs> a kid's puppet that makes you a... Dude, a that's cursed, a great horror movie. That's a great horror movie. A cursed ch- child's puppet that keeps having the puppeteer done for pedophilia and everyone's like, this is a weird coincidence. Yeah. Until one new guy comes in and he realizes it's the fucking puppet. Yeah. It's the puppet that makes you a pedophile. <laughs> Dude, that's already a line in the movie. Oh he, yeah, he's he's fucking. It's 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 in a dark room, and he's he's there with his uh fucking his girlfriend that is about to break up with him because he's just been like I'm having these feelings, and she's like I'm I'm done, and then it all starts like making sense to him, and he goes, "It's the puppet. The puppet makes you a pedophile." That's a line in the movie. Dude. That's when you smash cut it with the montage of him trying to look for the puppet, yeah. but then he can't find it. Puppet already has a new puppeteer or something like that. Yeah, dude. Holy shit. Someone get me on the phone to Netflix. Have I got something you guys can't wait to shoot down? Holy moly. Pedophile puppet. <laughs> That's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. He's like, okay, sorry, we're not really taking that. You're like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna say two words and then you just say how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> Pedophile puppet. <laughs> and he goes, he goes. Let me get my supervisor. <laughs> the supervisor comes over and he's, he's like, "You got to, you got to listen to this. Just say, say, say it again." And you go, "Pedophile puppet." And he's like, "All right, okay." What's our budget looking like this year? And the guy goes, uh, "Pretty under budget, honestly. Like we, we could make this work." And he's like, "Kevin Spacey doing it." <laughs> and you know what? That's perfect. Kevin Spacey voices the puppet. How creepy is his voice when he wants it to be? Yeah, that's good. And dude. friendly. Like it's it's warm but creepy. Yeah, terrifying. Yeah. Dude. Oh, that's when he he should do it as Frank. Oh yeah. In House of Cards. <sighs> so you thought you would Oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta find it. I'm gonna find it in my face. See why I was sitting on top of your cupboard, I was doing some thinking of my own. You don't puppet me. I puppet you. Hmm. <laughs> Why, you think you'd seen the last of me, didn't you? Put your hand inside me and say nothing more of it. <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> Pedophile puppet. <laughs> but I don't want to... Oh, we all don't want to do things, Daniel. <laughs> but you're going to do this. Ted Serenos is just in a bath with money, just being like, I'm a genius. Bro, that's way better than Sharknado, I can tell you that. Oh, that's so much better than Sharknado. Well, <laughs> what about Pedophile Tornado? Pedophile Tornado. 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 Three go careening into a daycare yeah. center. After, just... after the immense success of Pedophile Puppet, <laughs> an interview with the creators, and we're there like a turtle next. And like, surely you can't top this one. You're like, oh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll see. <laughs> Bro. We're going to fuck up the genre with this one. Straight up. It's like form changing. Yeah. We're going to make hard candy like, look like a fucking family fucking movie. Fucking pedophile tornado. Did you hear? Got a 25 minute standing ovation at car. <laughs> Broke the world record. <laughs> it's a cinematic masterpiece beyond reproach. <laughs> a 
you know what's crazy? Just millions <laughs> of pedophiles. <laughs> 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 what I actually <laughs> heard they <laughs> used real pedophiles as well. It's crazy that they found two million of them. <laughs> Bro, pedophile tornado. Pedophile tornado is pretty good. And you know what? I think the perfect follow-up to pedophile follow-up. The only follow-up. It's the only follow-up. That's our piece de resistance. Dude, that's uh, such a great... You know those You know those uh, fucking uh, stills of Peter Jackson on the Lord of the Rings set, like, really deep in thought? Yeah. <laughs> like, because like, he knows that, like, this is, in, like, his entire career is weighing on this. Yeah. And he's just like, that, being like, how am I going to make this work? That's us on the set of pedophile tornado. Just, like, the stills that come out of us, like, 45 years later. It's just like how hard art is. And when we release the extended cut. Yeah, when it's yeah. like the 45 year anniversary of Pedophile Tornado and kids are like, what is this? And, <laughs> and parents are like, kids don't know about Pedophile Tornado. This is one of the greatest movies <laughs> ever released. We're putting in the extended cut and it's like, it's like Sam and Alex on the set, just us really fucking deep in thought, just being like, oh God, we're so over budget. We how need more pedophiles. Yeah, it's not believable. We we need it's not believable. We, we, this, this. we need like sixty thousand more pedophiles. <laughs> we we like and there's like a interview where it's like, well, it got so serious after a little while that we um had to bring our own meteorologist in yeah. to discuss how many there would be. <laughs> they're calling it. This is the news. Of like fucking fucking entertainment tonight. They're like they're calling it the pedophile version of Battle of the Bastards. <laughs> they're not using any green screen. It's all real pedophiles. <laughs> like that yeah that was hard to source that was very hard to source not a lot of people responded to the ads but through a bunch of uh, very intricate and meticulous work going through hospital records yeah. we managed to track them down and offer them this or sort of jail time yeah and um so you know it's important that we also didn't help fill up our already overcrowded prison system yeah we gave um people a second chance and uh yeah we we lost a lot of good kids but i think overall the art speaks for itself yeah, yeah that's um, yeah, we done here. <laughs> like, like, yeah, we've like, got to go to Tribeca. Like, <laughs> we got more standing ovations it's to get. A constant victory lap for pedophile tornado. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I think we ended there. I think we ended on that. That was great. Happy Friday, Happy Sam. Happy Friday, Alex. I love you. I love you too, bud.